Well, I didn't expect to be bringing you guys an update episode this early in the day still after dropping the daily episode, but Casey Johnson dropped an article, and I'm not going to lie, it's pretty concerning about the situation going on with Billy Donovan. We're going to get into it all and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bulls Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bulls news and content. What's going on, Bulls fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related. I'm the host, Sarah Hayes, but more importantly, you guys can follow the channel at Bulls Central Pod on every single social media platform we happen to be on. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the content. So Casey Johnson dropped a really nice article over on NBC Sports Chicago. You guys should check it out. Talking about the fact that where the Bulls sit is kind of a collective failure of a lot of different things. And yeah, it's kind of in line with the video I dropped uh, earlier, actually. So it's funny that we were kind of in line there. But uh, in this article, one of the one of the concerning things that came out about that is that said that, you know, he pointed out how the uh, issues with the team right now is, is the, the, the management's vision of the roster, the schemes, player execution. There's a lot. But then he said this, and this is the, the, the most concerning part of this. He says the odd part is typically in such circumstances, a coach may be on the hot seat or perhaps management could be in trouble. But with Jerry and Michael Reinsdorf's history of employing Jerry Krause for 18 years and John Paxson for 17 until Paxson initiated his exit plan, not to mention Arturis Karnaschova's contract extension, Karnaschova has been given the green light to try to fix the current mess, which is fine. Here's what we get into. Same goes for Billy Donovan, who is liked and respected by both ownership and management and also has multiple years left on his extension, which is the first time we kind of have any kind of inkling on what this extension is, but then he says, while it has happened in recent situations like Fred Hoiberg and Jim Boylan, the Rhinestones typically don't like paying coaches not to work for them, so Donovan is safe, although wouldn't be surprised to see his staff tweak moving forward. Now, here's the thing, and and the thing he says on this as well, that the end of this article, that is the most concerning thing, it says, this leaves the burden of change falling on the players. Now, don't get me wrong, the players have their part in this thing going left for the Chicago Bulls, absolutely. There's nothing wrong with saying the players have a part of the burden of fixing this because they should. They're the ones on the court. They're the ones who haven't been executing. Uh, Zach, Damar, and Vooch have had the, the worst shooting percentages of their career before a head coach that has a less than 40% win percentage for your franchise. I don't care what he did in OKC. I don't care what he did in college. But to know that that coach is safe regardless because of multiple years left on a secret extension that you gave him, we all kind of knew that this was the thing. Right. But to just say that this coach is safe going forward, it removes. This is why you see Billy Donovan not play or not coach with any type of urgency, because guess what? He knows he's here and he's here for a long time left. And for anybody that was still holding out any shred of hope that 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 Billy Donovan was going to be removed as the head coach, this eliminates it. Billy Donovan is not going anywhere. The Bulls can lose out the rest of their season. And just because ownership does not like paying coaches to not work, even though it's going to damage your development. It's going to damage your future. It's going to damage a lot. This front office, I mean, well, this ownership group is not going to allow Billy Donovan to be fired. And I've been telling you guys this. What have I said? That keep in mind, this ownership group wanted AK to still leave on Jim Boylan, who was clearly struggling and ruined so many players' confidence. They wanted him to keep Jim Boylan on. So when, you, when you're dealing with this type of ownership, Listen, it's going to be a struggle, and this is the biggest thing for players, and this is why when you see players give up because they know nothing better is coming. For for you to be a player that's playing for a coach and realize no matter how bad that coach does, no matter what your gripes with that coach may be, that they aren't going anywhere, it makes it hard and difficult to give your true effort, and that still doesn't eliminate that because you're paid to be, to, to you're paid millions of dollars to go out on the basketball court and play a game. You should be giving the maximum effort regardless, but like, the morale around the Chicago Bulls team is not going to change anytime soon when you when you're afraid to move off of one of the parts. One of, I'm not saying the main part, but one of the biggest reasons why this team is struggling is the coaching, lack of development, lack of good rotations, lack of riding the hot hand, not understanding how to use players to their strengths. These are all things that we see on a daily basis for the Chicago Bulls and because of a secret extension that he hadn't even earned at that point means that he's going to stay on for this team for the foreseeable future. That is a huge problem, and that is why I say you can change so much with this Bulls team, but it's probably not going to change the end result. We're always going to end up, yes, you can trade Zach Levine. You can move that. You can not re-sign tomorrow. You can bring some new players in, 
But what we've seen, unless you have a true superstar player and multiple at that, yet Billy Donovan isn't the type of coach that's going to get you. Like, he barely made it out the first round with having multiple superstars. At the end of the day, no, not everything that's at fault with this Bulls team is on head coach Billy Donovan. But if you're saying that you are just adamantly against and he's not, no matter what, he's not going to be removed as the head coach, listen, right along with Winton, who's one of the biggest supporters here of this channel, you got to understand how that is going to continue to impact every single part of your team when you're doing that. You can have a great player development department, but if you're not going to play those players, if you're not going to develop those players, if you don't have a plan in place, everybody talks about, why don't we give Julian minutes? Why don't we give this player minutes? But guess what? You just If you just throw them out there with no plan on how to develop their skill set, how to use their skill set properly, it's not going to go anywhere. And that is one of the biggest faults with Billy Donovan is the fact that he just does not understand how to use players to, sh to their strengths. So even if we did play Julian Phillips, even if we did play Adama Snago, even if we did play Ernulla Batim, you can't guarantee that he's going to put those players in the proper situation that's going to grow their game. And that is one of the biggest things and one of the biggest indictments about this, about this team and franchise right now. This was, this was an article that was timely. It was an article that was on point. I commend Casey Johnson for coming out and dropping this article when he did and just giving it straight to, to fans and people who read it. Jerry, I'm, Jer Jerry Ryan's though. But Billy Donovan is not going to be removed as head coach. That means that anything that, that's left to be fixed on this team is going to come down to just the players. And now you you could probably understand why the players look so despondent at times. Because when you got somebody out there that you know is not going anywhere else and you don't trust how they're using them, one of the things that Nikola Vucevic said, now he hasn't been playing the best, that's on him, but then he said is he wanted to talk about how he's used. And have you looked at, has how he's used been done any better? His play has been bad too, right? So that's why I say it goes hand in hand. But listen, this is just... We're going to be struggling for a while, and that's what I said in today's daily episode, and I want to make sure that everybody still understands that. This situation for the Chicago Bulls isn't changing anytime soon, and Billy Donovan is going to be here for a while. But let me know what you guys think on everything down below. Make sure you guys are following the show at Bull Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, bullcentralpod at gmail.com. And then lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail, the number to do so, 773-270-2799. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related, thanks to you guys. And like I liked in every episode on, go Bulls. Love you guys. See red if you can, y'all. It's hard to do right now. But love you guys. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of The Break Media. Break, 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 break.